If you are on or thinking of going on the carnivore lifestyle, you probably need to be thinking about taking, uh, you're, you're questioning what supplements should you take. Well, there are several you may or may not have to take. Uh, let me just use myself as an example. Uh, I'm taking vitamin D. I just doubled my dosage. Uh, I was watching Dr. Berg. I'll leave a link in the description. He, he has several videos where he goes into each vitamin and tells you the, the side of, you know, tells you the symptoms. If you're not getting enough, very interesting. So I up mine and I can already feel a difference. Uh, B12, you don't really need that. It depends on it. It's a, you know, on your, every, every person is different. I do take magnesium. I take 500 uh, milligrams of these a day. And I take vitamin C. Now, I do not have a spleen. My spleen has been removed from me when I was 19 years old. So that is part of your immune system. So I have to make sure I get my vitamin C, uh, all this, all that. Uh, this is keto chow. Electrolytes, you're going to need that. Okay, this provides potassium chloride. Uh, what's the other one? Sodium. Where's my glasses? Magnesium. Okay, so this is also going to give you magnesium. Uh, I was interested in his vitamin D video because he named off a lot of symptoms that I was having. Um, night sweats in your head. If you know you're getting a uh, sweaty head, uh, especially at night, I was having that. That could be caused by vitamin D deficiency, uh, procrastination, uh, being lethargic. That is part of it. There was a whole mess, probably at least ten that he had he had went over that is caused by not taking enough or not getting enough vitamin D. Now I do know for a fact. Uh, that I am vitamin D deficient. And I've known that for a couple of years. So I have been taking these a couple of years, but had I known that I could have upped the dosage, you know, he says you could take 240,000 milligrams and it would take some time before you would even come close to ODing on, on vitamin D. Uh, but don't take that much, 10,000 but you can take up to 20 if you need it. It depends on your own individual, you know, your system. So some of them, you, you're you going to have to get some blood work done. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough thing because doctors, they do not like this lifestyle. They're probably not going to be too overly eager to help you with that. Uh, just get your blood work done before. You know, everything on the car, it's pretty safe anyway. You're, you're not risking anything. I feel so much better on it. Uh, you know, you're going to need omega threes, uh, which if you eat seafood, <clears throat> you're going to get a lot of that from that. Um, you know, B12, I was taking that before carnivore. It's empty now. I'm not taking that. There's plenty of that in red meat. Uh, if I see later on, I may need some more Then well, I'll start taking it again. And you're going to get a lot of this from eggs as well. I am not an expert, but I've been watching these videos because I, I too had those questions and you know, it's just, it's good to know that. And they don't cost that much and you're not going to get sick by taking too many or not enough. And you just, it's, you just got to get in the routine of doing this every day. And you're going to be fine. Y'all like that camera switch I just did. I know. Got the other one hooked up. All right. Well, we'll keep this one short. But I'm going to leave a link. And his videos, he has a lot of them. I think he lists several of these vitamins. I watched one on B12 this morning. And, you know, if you're a vegan, yes, you're going to need to take B12. Uh, on carnivore, maybe not so much. Depends how much red meat you're eating. And, you know, there's different kinds of meat that have different values of vitamins. And 
you kind of really need to know, study up on what is in each meat. Like tonight, uh, I'm going to cook some turkey burgers, which don't hardly have any fat. So with that, I'm going to have to cook a ribeye or something else. Uh, I'll cook probably, it's a pretty big package of meat, so I'm probably going to cook four or five of these turkey patties. Never had them, so I don't know what it tastes like. I may not like it. I'm not a big fan of turkey. I can tell you that. Uh, Thanksgiving Day, I'd rather have ham. But I'm also going to have to cook something with a higher fat value. Uh, I can cover the turkey and butter and do things like that. I'll tell you what. I fried up some pork chop flank steaks that I got at Aldi's last week. I fried them up in bacon grease. Oh, man, in my electric skillet. Man, were those good. A little liquid smoke in there and seasonings. So I got plenty of fat from that. Uh, you know, and then I, I, I'll make hamburger patties. Uh, you know, you don't eat them all at once. You have a couple days worth of hamburger patties. Sometimes I'll heat up a hamburger patty in the morning and make about three or four fried eggs and just put it right on top of the hamburger patty. Makes it good. Yep. You, you, eggs uh fried eggs gives you that good the yolk gives you a good natural dipping sauce so anyway that's that's what i wanted to talk about today we were gonna we're gonna cover more things uh i was more prepared for this earlier and then the power went out you know when the power goes out here you really don't have no idea the neighbors right next door was on but mine was off, cross street was off. So you get on the website, well, the phone doesn't work too quick off the Wi-Fi here. So I find out that there's 32 people affected, about an hour, you know, hour, hour and 15 minutes, then I see a truck. A few minutes later, they have it resolved. So it happens often out here when you're rural. Transformers blow up, I don't know. But you have to investigate, well, is this on my end? Could it be my service panel <laughs> nothing was wrong there so i got one of my battery packs out plugged in my refrigerator because you never know how long it's going to be out and that kept everything warm until i was able to get the power back on so thanks for watching we will see you on the next one happy trails